This is John Ward, welcoming you to another presentation of Tennessee football on home video. The story you're about to see unfold is one of adventure and achievement. It's the story of teamwork, commitment, and the will to win. Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown, Vols fans. I'm your host, Bull, and today's video is on new four-star offensive tackle commit Bennett Warren from Sugarland, Texas. Six foot eight, 330 pounds. He's got some good feet. You know, he looks really good, and y'all already know I love front seven players. He looks like a really, really good one. Um, also plays basketball in high school, does some track and field, uh, shot put, and discus. So, you know, he's a good athlete, really, really strong guy. I think he's going to be able to help us out tremendously. He plays in a private school league, so might not be playing against the best competition, but you can tell that he's definitely got the skills and um, really excited about looking at his film. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so he's playing right tackle at the top of the screen. You can just see that he's a great athlete, big, big body, and he's a big old bully. Watch him get off this football and he's just pushing people down. He's got long arms. He takes up a lot of space. And I mean, literally just looks like a prototype offensive tackle. Right here, you see excellent hand placement, excellent body placement, drives his feet very well. Again, great hand placement and just pushes this kid way out of the hole, blocks two people effortlessly. It just comes natural to him. Boom, steps inside, good job catching, snatches him, throws him straight down to the floor. Again, bully mentality, great job being patient, protects his inside, grabs a hold. Nobody's getting away from those big old paws right here, pulling, doing a good job of getting out in the open field, trying to find somebody. You see how strong he is with a little bit of momentum behind him. He's just tough, tough, tough to try to get around. He's just a big, huge mountain of a man. Um, excellent job. I mean, he has he has pretty good feet. He does need to work on his footwork just to taste, but now look at that. Explosive out of his stance, gets to the second level well, goes and finds this Mike linebacker really, really quick. Again, excellent hand placement. With those taller guys, sometimes it's a little bit harder for them to get down low, especially playing against some of these shorter players, but he does a really good job of bringing his hands up from his hips and exploding through, getting them right in the perfect place. You see that again, this has beautiful, beautiful hand placement, drives his feet well. And, um, you know, that's something that I really love about his film so far. It's just the way he's able to place his hands and be able to get that leverage without necessarily having to bend down too low. Look at that. I mean, that's just beautiful. You see that full extension in his arms in complete control of the ends as they are trying to pass rush. Nice kick step again, being patient. And right there, that was really nice with his feet. Like his feet are good coming back to the inside. He can shuffle them quick right there. That's a really nice job of closing this distance. Let's see this again. Takes that kick step, being patient, boom, closes it up and neutralizes this end or linebacker that was rushing off the edge instantly. Got him playing tackle right here again. Pretty much same thing. Now look at that. that. That's a very dominant position. Whenever you see this, that full extension in his arms with perfect technique, that's how the coaches look whenever they're showing you how to do it. That is a very, very dominant position. He has good form, good fundamentals for the most part, good technique. You can tell that he's been well coached. He's coming from a coming from a good school. Um, you know, obviously with him just being a what well, this is his junior film, really anxious to see what his senior film is gonna look like because clearly, you know, there are things that he does need to work on. And, um, you know, it's not a whole lot, but I'll just be curious to see how he looks next season so that we can see what the finished product will be before he gets on campus up in Knoxville. But so far, so good, man. I mean, he's got really, really good feet. He's a great athlete. He's really, really strong. Again, he's got those long arms. Look at that. I mean, he's just a straight up dog. He's got that nastiness that we've seen from all of our players. And that's got to make you happy. Because SEC play, you know, you're talking about wanting to win an SEC championship, wanting to win the East, uh, you know, wanting to go into the playoffs. It's all about having dogs. It's all about having guys that are physical. And look at the way right here, the way he stonewalls this guy. Look at how easy and effortless it is for him. Steps to the inside and then finishes it off 
again, with that nastiness, with that dog, with that toughness that you have to have, throws them straight to the ground. Got to love it. Nice job here uh, of getting to the inside. You know, again, his hand placement is really nice. And he's able to get a lot of leverage with his body being so tall. Now, this is beautiful here. Look at this seal. We're going to see this again. Watch what he does here. He's going to engage, protect his inside here. Okay, running back to the inside. He's protecting his inside here. Now, what you're going to see is he's going to turn, turning him, turn him. He's turning this guy. Okay, he's got him sealed off. Now, he's going to drive him all the way out of the hole. That is beautiful. That's textbook fundamentals. That's exactly what you want to see. He's just a body mover, man. And right here, we see him coming out on a tunnel screen. Does a good job of um, <laughs> of uh, just neutralizing that cornerback. I, I think that was good feet, good feet. I mean, stone walls, good job of anchoring down, pushing back. He doesn't really give too much ground. Again, here, pulling around. He looks really good pulling around. I mean, just a great athlete. And you see people's I mean, bodies just go flying as soon as he makes contact with them. Yeah, I mean, he can, he can pretty much do it all from the tackle position. We like to pull our tackles. Look at the way he gets up to I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, he gets to that second level just effortlessly. It takes a, takes a few steps. He's kind of sitting down a little bit too much in his, uh, in his drop right there. But, you know, again, those are things that we can coach him out of. That looks a lot better. Boom. Mean. Big long arms, big strong paws. Good job right there driving. Neutralizes his neutralizes his guys pretty quickly every single time. Look at that right there. He took away two people. Let's see it again. You're going to see he's going to take that tackle out. Boom, just throws it to the ground and then stops that in pretty, pretty easily. These kids really aren't on his same level of skill play. You can tell that for sure. Um, so, you know, I definitely would be anxious to see what he would look like and maybe like a um you know maybe like an all-star game or something like that seeing him up against some better competition but what i do love is that you know again his fundamentals and his technique are just really really solid and you can tell he's a really good athlete he's a really strong guy and he understands football he understands what he needs to do what his offense is trying to do and those things you know you can coach around you know whatever type of uh, competition that he's going to see moving forward. You know, again, six foot eight, 330 pounds. Let's see him here again. I mean, you know, that's prototype size. Really good job. Really good job of grabbing a hold. He's got quick hands too. Uh, you know, his, his jabs, his punches come out really, really quick, almost like a boxer. You know, it just comes out really fast. He's really fast with his hands. Pretty good feet. Uses his arm length well. And you can tell he has strong hands too. He grabs a hold of the defense and he doesn't let them go. They're not getting away from him by any means. Here we're just seeing like a lot of rapid fire of him just pretty much dominating in his lead. Boom, good jab, grabs a hold of him, stonewalls him. People probably aren't even barely getting, maybe even, I mean, look at that. They're just not getting any type of push at all when they're going up against him. And, uh, you know, I mean, some of these guys are actually fighting, but he's strong enough. You know, he's got a strong enough core to be able to hold on to these guys. So I think he's going to hold up very, very well, especially in pass protection. We're seeing a lot of that here. Look at that. Boom. Perfect. Again, textbook, you know, extends his arms full length, beautiful hand placement, and he just makes it look really, really easy against these guys. Let's see what he does right here. Boom. I mean, just beautiful, man. Like he gets his hands right in the center of their shoulder pads. And uh, I mean, look at that full extension. Boom. Punches them out. Stonewalls them. Same thing here again. You've seen that footwork. He does a good job of mirroring too. Nice job working here with the combo block and finishes it off with the pancake. Again, you know, he's just got that nasty and he's got that dog to him. Beautiful job mirroring there. Has, you know, maintains a nice base, protects his inside, boom, 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 hands in, and now you see him anchoring down. Makes it look way too easy. I think that, oh, look at that kick step. That's a good jump off of that football. I like that a lot. But I think that, um, you know, for sure, he's a guy that, potentially speaking, you know, we're talking about losing our two starting tackles this season, you know, if everything goes well. And, um, you know, it's going to be a lot of competition. 
whenever he gets on campus for that next slot, you know, who's going to be that next guy to be able to come in? Um, you know, we should have two slots open for him. And I fully expect for him, just from looking at this film, I expect for him to be one of the guys that is truly legitimately competing for one of those starting tackle positions when he, whenever he gets on campus. Just a just a big mountain of a guy and good footwork, great athlete, can pull, can get upfield. You know, like I was saying, beautiful in this pass protection. Let's see him right here again. Good kick step bump. I mean, just look at just look at how quickly he's able to neutralize those ends coming off of the edge. We're gonna see what he does here. Kick step bump, boom. Oh, that was a little stunt there. Just neutralizes him quickly. And you know, we're kind of seeing as this film goes on. You're seeing him utilizing his arm length even more. And right there, that's a nice fight. Let's see it again, because this end really puts up a nice fight. Does a good job right here. See that end tries to pull and tries to get away, but Bennett does a good job of anchoring down and maintaining his balance and holding on. Again, he's got really, really strong hands. I mean, pretty much prototype. Looks like he could be a, uh, you know, day one draft pick. You know, I know it's early on right now, but it, he looks like he's definitely got those skills to be able to be one of those first round guys, I think that he can definitely do it. And, you know, hopefully we can uh, win some championships with him. And in three to four years, he can be one of those guys that is, you know, a top 10-esque draft pick. So uh, that is Bennett Warren's film. Let's go ahead and jump to his grades. All right, so the first thing that does pop off of the film with Bennett is that he's very, very tough. You can see he's physical, I mean, He's just one of those guys, he plays to the echo of the whistle. You constantly see him pancaking people, laying on top of them, snatching people, throwing them down to the ground. And um, sometimes he actually kind of goes past that echo of the whistle. So really, really tough, really, really physical. Exactly what you want in those trenches. I'm going to give him five stars right here on toughness and physicality. So Bennett being six foot eight, 330 pounds and being able to move the way that he does is a beautiful thing. Does an excellent job of getting up to that second level constantly. Beautiful job pulling to the outside on wide receiver screens, uh, you know, on run plays designed to the outside. He's a really, really good athlete. He's got good feet, just moves really, really fluidly for his size. So I'm gonna give him five stars right here as well as an athlete. So obviously with the first two categories, they just come together so beautifully for the run blocking. I mean, he's a great athlete. He has beautiful hand placement in his run blocking. Does a really nice job getting to the second level, pulling all of those types of things, drives his feet really, really well. I mean, he's just a really solid blocker. We don't see a whole lot of him run blocking in this film, but you can tell, I mean, he's definitely a body mover does an excellent job of sealing and I'm going to give him five stars right here as a run blocker. Now for pass blocking, he just looks really, really solid here. Um, you know, again, his level of competition in some of these clips isn't great, but you can tell that his overall body of work and his fundamentals are really, really solid. He does a beautiful job of using his arms. That punch is quick. It's powerful. Um, you know, he's got really, really strong hands and he does move his feet relatively well, especially for as big as he is. He's six foot eight, 330 pounds. They call him Dancing Bears uh, and he definitely fits that mold. I'm gonna give him five stars here as well in pass protection. So now to recap, obviously Bennett Warren got five stars in every category. So we are upgrading him from a four star to a five star. I'm not quite sure, you know, where the disconnect is on some of these other sites, but it probably is just his level of competition not being super great. But as far as his ceiling, he is a five star blue chip ceiling guy for sure. I mean, this looks like a early first round draft pick uh, coming up here in the near future. Like I was saying, he does need to work on a few little small things, but we're going to come back towards the end of his senior season, or you know, I guess once his senior film comes out, and we will see if he has been able to fix some of those things. I'm sure that he will. I think that he is a five-star player, and I could see him contributing on this offensive line 
as a true freshman is definitely possible. If not, for sure, his second year, he will be a starter. He's a really, really solid player, and I'm looking forward to having him on Rocky Top. And, you know, it always feels good to beat Michigan out after they stole that Heisman Trophy away from Peyton Manning. So, uh, and we've been beating him here recently a lot for several of these recent guys that we've had commit to the true orange and white, to the real UT. Um, so thank y'all as always for tuning in. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll see y'all on the next video. Thanks. Peace.